serious? Oh, God, dude. Are, are, are people serious? Like, did they not see this big truck pulling a big camper? System, so yep, there we go. Onboard air system. Got the hardware bag, mounting bracket. So we have the in house Klein brand compressor, which is different. Other train horn companies they just outsource. Uh, this part as well as the tank with another air company That's one thing I do like about Klein is that they do their own R&D and research in-house and they have done internal designs on these and they are Waterproof we are the only manufacturers that have a fully waterproof compressor uh, This one has been running for three days now at the SEMA Auto Show and we have the big train horn and the air compressor air tank look at the size of this thing all right that compared to this is the competitors that I've always ran so and this is plastic and also this not being plastic it's actually gonna sound more like a locomotive horn than the plastic ones. All right, I know you guys are gonna want the size difference because obviously size matters, right? So we got the Klein right here, and that is the competitors. It's the Shocker XL that I always buy because I genuinely like the sound, but this is plastic. And that horn setup is roughly about 450, I believe, online, and uh, this is actually, uh, I want to say it's comparable to, to the price. Four horn setup from them, which is all plastic, or you can get this horn, which is actual locomotive sounding horn. So I honestly can't wait to try this out because I want to know what this horn sounds like. The Shocker XL, I've had three or four of them already. I always stuck to it because I just like the the sound of it and I can't afford to spend two to three thousand dollars for the Nathan 3L or the 5L or whatever. Let's uh, go ahead and get this installed. see if I can document it for you guys they supply a zip tie and the string and we gotta fish it through there's a secret slot up here and the bolt we ultimately wanted to come out on this small hole down can't sit all right get the string after fighting for about about an hour trying to fish that wire. 
or fish that bolt through, I decided to just give up and just uh, I drilled a small pilot hole and then ran a bolt through it and uh, it seems to be pretty sturdy. Yeah, I, I was trying to make that work, but uh, that was just that right there, that second hole. It was just going to be, I mean, I was already, I've already spent an hour and I just couldn't get it through. So, <sighs> this is how I decided to do it. So, if you guys want to do it this way, you guys are more than welcome to do it. About 10 minutes later, I had the trumpets backwards, or not backwards, uh, flipped. So the large trumpet goes on the passenger side, and the medium trumpet goes on the driver's side. And I initially had it reversed. So the medium was here, and the horn kept hitting the bracket here, and then I had to go look at the instructions. And per instructions, I had it wrong. So got it rerouted, and we should be good to go. Two thousand years later. All right, guys, we have finally wired up the train horns and everything has been mounted and stuff. It took probably a little bit over twelve hours. Yeah, I, I hate to admit it. Actually, it took by probably about 14, 15 hours. And the reason being is this is my first time actually installing train horns all by myself. I've always had the help of my buddy Alex, who is like a wizard when it comes to wiring things up and doing train horns. I wanted to tackle this by myself because I wanted to kind of demonstrate that this kit is easy easy enough for a newbie, a first timer can do it too. And there's not a whole lot of videos on YouTube about you know how to install this kit because I usually like to watch how to videos. That That's kind of why I got started with this YouTube. The instructions were very thorough but I felt like it could have been a little bit better. Uh, to me, a little some of the important steps that I wanted to see. So with that being said, I kind of want to take the opportunity to maybe get another kit and do a whole another installation on a different vehicle to show you guys step by step, highlight some of the key points where it wasn't highlighted in the in the instructions. So let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys are interested. It took me 12 plus hours because I had to redo so many mounts and so many things. Um, you know, this kit is different than a lot of the other kids in, in, a, in a very good way and what I mean by that is it's a vehicle specific kit so it has mounting brackets specifically for your train horns your compressor and your air tank for your specific vehicle so what I happened was some of the some of the things I ran into was that uh, per instructions I believe I was reading it right the lines were uh, routed towards the driver's side fitting slash the solenoid was pointed towards the driver's side and it didn't make sense to me because everything is mounted on the passenger side. So I flip flopped the trumpets which took you know probably 30 minutes to an hour and then rerouted the solenoid, rewired the solenoid as well and yeah so that took an extra hour and then when I thought I was done I, uh, <laughs> I had it tapped to my factory horn and for some reason it wouldn't work. There was there's a little valve inside the solenoid that I accidentally put in upside down, which that stuff like that I want to point to you guys and highlight because I feel like that's that's a really simple mistake that a lot of people can make, and it's not something that you would know that you put in upside down just because of just because you've never seen it. I had an air leak somewhere and I was losing air, so it was just stuff like that. I had to go back and recheck and fix up. So it actually took me about 10, 
12 hours and then on top of that it took me three four more hours to go back and fix up my mistakes and also I did the onboard air system so there was a lot of unnecessary cutting that I had to do to my back bumper that I wasn't planning on doing and I actually spent like two hours doing that just because I was stubborn and once I started I was like it's gonna work this way so yeah uh, so that, that obviously next time it's gonna be a lot easier and quicker but yeah it, it took a good bit this time but yeah enough with that I know you guys are really here to hear the train horns and I am super excited to hear the horns myself and you know one of the reasons why I do like this kit is that they put the trumpets up front to me that's more practical just because all the train horns I've had they are mounted in the bed of the truck and usually pointed towards the back and from personal experience all the times I've had to use the train horns it's from somebody cutting me off in the front or doing something in the front of the vehicle that they shouldn't be doing and I need to get their attention and by having the train horns in the back it's still very effective however I've noticed that I scared the crap out of people behind me or to the side of me so I'm thinking by putting the train horns up front maybe I'll reduce that and be more effective on getting a attention from people who I need to get attention from. All right, are y'all ready? That, that's pretty legit. Probably the loudest train horn I have ever owned in my life. I have friends obviously who have metal train horns and I am not gonna lie I, I would love to do a comparison video with those because what they have is Just the horns alone cost just as much as this whole kit this whole kit I believe is roughly about 1500 bucks because I went with the onboard air system and <laughs> Guys, this is this is way louder than the plastic trumpet horns that I have on my 2020 Duramax, and the way it's the way it's mounted in the front, definitely gonna get somebody's attention when they cut you off. So, for that, I love these horns, and I'm honestly really lucky to be able to say that I have become a dealer for Klein Air Horns. So I have these kits on the website so you can purchase them directly on JW Motorsports Co and, and then you can have exactly what I have for your specific vehicle this thing is amazing I might need a bigger air tank because uh that it legit sounds like a train I kid you not this is amazing I, I had never actually thought I would like this tone but wow this it's it's loud I don't know if the camera is gonna be able to capture this but it's it's freaking loud <laughs> So yeah, one thing you guys might be concerned, the train horn noise inside the cab, but it's not too bad, honestly. It doesn't really scare you, per se. But it's very loud out there. 